Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a vibrant section titles for your next DV projects. This is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and we're going to give this page a title. So I'm just going to call this vibrant section titles, click on use the div builder, and then we're going to go straight to the visual builder. So here we can build from scratch. So I'm going to click here. And then uh, before we can add any columns or the column structure, I'm just going to close this and go into my section settings. So I'm going to click here on the gear icon to, uh, to access the section settings. And then I'm going to click on design, spacing, and I'm going to add a padding of zero, both to the top and the bottom. So notice that I've activated this chain. Uh, this allows my value to be added both to the top and the bottom. Okay, so now I can save, and then now it's time to add our column structure. So I'm gonna click on this icon here. So we're gonna go with um, this column structure here. Next, we're gonna go into the row settings and set our background color. So I'm just gonna close this for now. Click on the gear icon. And now in the row settings, I'm going to click on background and then I'm going to click this plus button and add my value here. Now, if you want to use the exact same values as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, I'm going to add a gradient for our column one. So I'm going to come over here and click the second tab and then click the plus button. So I'm going to first start by adding my first color. I'm going to paste it here. Click on the second color. I'm going to paste it. And then over here for the gradient direction, I'm going to set this at 125 degrees. Right, so the next thing we're going to do now is to set our width. So I'm going to come over here to design, sizing, and then I'm going to make this row full width. And uh, this option here to use the gutter width, again, I'm going to come over here and uh, say yes to that. And I'm going to set my gutter width to 1. And then finally, we're going to equalize the column height. Now, the reason why I'm setting my gutter width to one is so that I reduce the spacing between the columns. Right, so the next thing we're going to do now is to go to the spacing and adjust our padding. So over here, I'm going to add a padding of zero to the top and the bottom. So again, I'm going to activate my chain and add my value just like that. Next, we're going to go to column two and add a top padding of 200 and also a bottom padding of 200. Now for the left padding, I'm gonna set this to 350, and then we might as well add our padding for the uh, small devices. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon, and for the tablet, I'm gonna set my left padding at uh, 50 pixels, and we're also gonna do the same for the smartphone. Great. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch over back here to my desktop view. So over here for the column uh, two padding, I'm going to set my padding to the right to 50. So, so far we've, we have everything that we need. I'm going to go ahead and save. And now I'm going to add my title. So I'm going to click this plus button here. So I'm going to search for my text module because I need to add a heading in there. So I'm going to click this text module. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to add my text. So the text I'm going to add in here is just uh, about. I'm just going to get rid of this and then just type about in there. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to assign this to a heading 2. So I'm going to highlight the text and then click this drop down here and set this to heading 2. Now let's go to the design tab and make some design changes. Right, so what I'm going to do next here is to just go in and make this ultra bold. I'm going to make it uppercase as well. And for the alignment, I'm going to align this to the center. And then over here for the text color, I'm going to set this to white so that we can read it behind uh, in, on top of this uh, dark background. And then over here for the text size, we're going to make this nice and big. So I'm going to set this to 150 and I'm going to set a line height of 1.25 EM. Right. So now it's time to add my text shadow. So I'm going to come over here and select this one here like that. And then I'm going to add some adjustments here. Okay. So for the vertical uh, shadow, I'm going to set this to minus 0.5 EM. And I'm also going to set my uh, shadow color. So I'm going to click here on this uh, ink drop tool and paste my value between the brackets. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact, the exact same values, I will leave a link to the post which has these specific values. Now it's time to adjust the, uh, the margins. So I'm going to scroll down over here to spacing. And for the top margin, I'm going to set this to 325. 
but um, this is going to be different on mobile devices, so I might as well change this. So I'm going to come over here to this little icon to adjust my sizes for the tablet and the phone. So I'm going to click on the tablet and we're going to set this to 150. And that should be the same as well for the phone. So as you can see, so we're going to do the same for the bottom margin. So I'm just going to click this uh, chain icon and that value is applied to the bottom margin as well. So now we have enough space both on the top and the bottom of the word. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do the same for the tablet. So I'm going to come over here to the tablet tab. And for this one here, I'm going to set this to minus 120. And for the phone, I'm going to set it to minus 110. Great, so I'm going to switch back over here to the desktop. Now it's time to work on the right margins. So over here for the desktop, uh, I'm going to set this to minus 100%. And then for the tablet and the phone, I'm going to set this to zero. So again, I'm going to click here on my tablet, set my value to zero. And then for the phone, I'm also going to set this to zero. Now, it's always good practice that when you design your pages, you go into the tablet and the phone to adjust the sizes because you want your website to look beautiful on all devices. So this is why we're going into these extra steps of adding our values in this tablet and the phone. All right, so moving on, what we need to do now is to go to the filter and set my blend mode. So I'm going to come over here to filters and then I'm going to set my blend mode to overlay. Right, so uh, I think we're done with this. I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then now it's time to add our second heading. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module and select it. Right, so here all we're going to say is let's meet. I'm going to highlight this and set this to heading three. So again, I'm going to click on here on the paragraph area and click this drop down and set this to heading three and then click on the design tab. So I'm just going to click on this paintbrush tool so we can jump straight to making changes to this heading. So I'm going to click here and notice that it takes us straight to heading three. Right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to change my font weight to semi-bold. So I'm going to click this drop down, set that to semi-bold and uh, we're also going to set my uh, text color. So my color here is going to be... In fact, I'll click this uh, eyedropper tool and paste my hexadecimal value, just like that. Uh, the text size is going to be set to 60. So I'm going to set this to 60. And the letter spacing this time is going to be minus three pixels. Right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to set our bottom margin. So we're going to come over here to spacing, margin bottom, and we're going to set this to 50. And then we're going to go ahead and save. Right, so now it's time to add a divider. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my divider module. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to click here on design color and I'm going to paste my color here. Next, we're going to come over here to sizing. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to set our height to 56 and our width to 75% and then save. Right, so moving on, uh, let's add another text module. So I'm going to click this plus button and search for my text module. Now, this is the module that's going to have all our dummy text. Okay, so now that we have this all set, Let's set our text size to 17 pixels. So to do that, we need to come over here to the design tab and we're going to set our text size to uh, 17. And then over here for the line height, I'm going to set this to 1.3. And for the text orientation, we're going to justify it. Right, so as you can see, this paragraph is going all the way over there to the right. So we need to reduce the width of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to sizing and change the width to about 70%. For the desktop okay so that's much better and then for the tablet we're going to set this at 100 percent so i'm going to click here come over to the tablet and this needs to be 100 and the same for the phone right so the next thing we're going to do here is to add a bit of space below this paragraph so i'm going to come over here to spacing and for the bottom margin we're going to set this to about 50 and then save and then what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to duplicate this so we have two paragraphs Right, so the next stage now is to add our button. So I'm going to click this plus button here and search for my, in fact, it's right here. So I'm going to select my button. So now we need to customize this button. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to design. In fact, before we do that, you need to come over here to the link and make sure that you set your link where you want your button to link to. Okay, so in my case, I'm just going to add a blank link and then click on design button. So in order for us to make some changes to this, you need to activate use custom styles for buttons. So I'm going to set this to yes. And then we're going to start with the text size. 
So over here, it's uh, by default set to 20. So I'm gonna set this to 17. For the button text color, I'm gonna set this to white. And then we're gonna come over here and set our button background color. So I'm gonna click this plus button, paste my color in here. Now notice that the colors that I'm using are colors that are working well with our color palette. Okay, so it's important that you have that consistency. Right, so over here for the button, for the button border, I'm gonna set this to zero. And then for the border radius, we want this button to look like a pill. So in order for us to achieve that, we're going to set our radius to 100. Right, moving on for our button letter spacing, we're going to set this to minus 1. And then for the font weight, we're going to set this to ultra bold and uppercase. Now, the next stage now is to add uh, some spacing. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add our padding top and padding bottom. So I'm going to activate my chain and add 10 pixels here. So notice that is applied again to the top and the bottom. And then for our lift padding, again, I'm gonna, it's going to be the same value. So I'm going to set this to 30. Next, we're going to come over here to the box shadow. I'm going to select it here. Now, so what I'm going to change here is the blur strength. So by default, it's set at 18 pixels. So I'm just going to change that to uh, 54. And for the spread strength, I'm going to set this to minus 8. And then over here for the shadow color, I'm going to paste my values between the brackets, just like that. And like I said in the beginning of the tutorial, if you want to use the same values as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and save. So let's say you want to uh, create another section like this. All you have to do is to clone it by coming over here to the top and clicking this uh, duplicate section. And as you can see, now you have two. So all you have to do now, if you want to change... Um, the contents of this is just to go in and change the contents. But you know what? We have all this design already. So here, let's say we want to change this to portfolio. We can just highlight the text and do some inline editing like that. We can go into the background color by clicking here on the row settings, background, and I'm going to add my background color here. And to change the gradients as well, you can just go in and change your colors. So uh, ideally, you want to use colors which are from your color palette. But this is just to distinguish the two, uh, the about and the portfolio. So now it's time to add my second color. So I'm going to paste it here like that. And notice that this is actually changing over here. Great. So moving on. So I'm going to save this. And then over here, I'm going to go into my settings. Click on design. So to make things easy for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to filter and then click on modified styles. So this will just show everything that I changed initially. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my, my shadow color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool, paste my value between the brackets. So you can see here that the uh, shadow now has changed. And then over here for the margins, we can set this to minus 110, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Right, so uh, this word here, we might as well change this because uh, because we're talking about the portfolio, so we might as well change this to work, like that. So moving on, uh, we also need to change the color of this text here, so I'm gonna click here on my module settings, design, and then I'm gonna click here on the heading color and paste it. So now this color, is working hand in hand with what we have we have over here on the background okay so moving on we also need to change the divider color so i'm going to close i'm going to save this and go into the divider as well click on design color and i'm going to paste my color in here we're going to save this now we're going to move on to the button because we need to change the button background color so i'm going to click here on the gear icon to go into the button settings click on design button and uh, we're going to change the bat button background color by pasting my value in here just like that so this is how you create these sections creatively so i'm going to save this for now so if you want to create more sections what you could do is you can just duplicate this and then change the colors according to what you have on your color palette so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial please leave your questions in the comments box below and i'll do my best to respond to them until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video